What's up, fight fans? This is Kirk DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Timothy Bradley, Canelo Alvarez, and Dimitri Bivol. Get this. According to Timothy Bradley, he says Dimitri Bivol must dominate Canelo to get the win. Mm. Tim Bradley says the WBA lightweight our light heavyweight champion, Dimitri Bivol, has the talent and the style to beat Canelo Alvarez, but he cannot let the fight get close when they meet on May 7th at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Bradley feels that Bivol is 19-0 with 11 KOs, will put will need to put a boxing clinic to get a decision win against the highly popular Canelo Alvarez, who has been the, <clears throat> the recipient the recipient of a handful of decisions that may believe have gone the other way. Canelo and Bivol will be headlining the zone pay-per-view on May 7th. If Canelo wins, he'll potentially face Gennady Golovkin on September 16th. Golovkin will need to win his April 9th fight against Ryoto Murata to ensure that he meets Canelo in September in their long-awaited trilogy fight. Canelo will have a harder task than Golovkin trying to get to that September fight because Bivol is the prime in the prime of his career and he needs and he has the style, chin, and power to win, assuming the judges don't score it or score the fight that oddly. Bivol can beat Canelo. He says he has a really good chance of beating Canelo, but it can't be close. That's the thing, said Bradley to fight height. If it's close, Canelo's going to get the nod. We know that Canelo is going to try and put on the pressure and walk Bivol down. Bivol's inside game is not great, not prolific in any way, but his footwork on the outside, his movement, his jab, that's one thing that frustrates a counterpuncher, said Bradley. Let me stop right there, okay? Because I want to counterpunch something. I think Bradley's absolutely right. I think we all know that. I think we, if you get a close, if you're in a close fight with Canelo, you can, you just, aren't, you just blessed yourself with a moral victory because you won't get the official one. You won't fighting uh, Canelo Alvarez in a half ass fight. You have to dominate, you know, and this is funny. He said, Bill's inside game is not great. OK, but he has good footwork on the outside. His movement, his jab is that's And that's one thing you can do with a counter puncher. OK, well, that's the same thing Laura did. Laura outboxed Canelo. Did he get the nod? No. Why? Because people, the criticizers, well, for one, the officials didn't give it to him. You know, they had nine rounds of three for Canelo. I'm like, how the hell did you you how did you judge that fight that way? But. The criticizers say that Laura did what? Run. So if Bivol does box him like Timothy Bradley wants him to do, they're going to say the same thing. You know what? Dim Dimitri Bivol didn't want to mix it up. He didn't want to exchange punches. He didn't want to do this. He didn't want to do that. You know what? It was boring. You know, he just stayed on the outside. Well, that's what he's supposed to do. He's a taller guy. He's much taller than Canelo. And he, if he uses his jab like Sergey Kovalev could have done, you could keep him back. But you have to keep him honest because if you don't, Canelo Alvarez will walk you down, chop you to the body, chop that body down, then take you out like he did a lot of people. And that's Rocky Fielding. That's uh, um, um, his latest opponent, um, Caleb Plant. He did the same thing to Caleb. Caleb ran out of gas, but those punches were taking the air out of his tires too. So you have to have a good stamina and good footwork. That's true. But that won't win you the fight against the house name. Canelo's the house name. So you're going to have to deal with that. So even if he does put a, a whooping on Canelo, he has to just pretty much go balls to the wall. Okay, Canelo hasn't won a, a, a lost a decision in, wow, eight years, nine years. And he lost to Mayweather. And even that scorecard was bullshit because they had one same, 114, 114. So it was crazy to see. So I don't think Canelo will lose. He has to knock him out, in my opinion, to win. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Timothy Bradley. But remember, Timothy Bradley was in a controversial fight himself with Manny Pacquiao, and he got the nod. So, you know, <laughs> but it's funny him saying that. You guys tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunching. Peace.